How you going guys? Dave o here from Rich Energy IMG Racing. Uh, just thought I'd check in, let you know uh, what I've been up to. Um, I'm in Australia now. Obviously the uh, crap that's going on around the world is not, not ideal, but um, is what it is. I'm supposed to be in Australia, I'm uh, supposed to be back in UK now. So yeah, obviously still here in Australia, but uh, supposed to be testing and uh, getting on the new BMWs with IMG Racing and spewing that I'm not. Um, I was really looking forward to it. Uh, it's still going to happen, but just a matter of when. But uh, yeah, hopefully we, uh, we'll we get the sorted and, uh, and uh, all the racing gets underway again. But um, I got married. I got married in February. So that was uh, pretty cool and um, awesome day. But uh, now I'm in the shed and just a bit of self-isolation in here. But a few bikes I'm working on, but there's old Triumph on my old man's old uh, race bike that I've raced as well. I've cracked it out of it as well. But, uh, so that needs to be rebuilt. But um, yeah, so this is the, the, the workhorse area. There's uh, another shed with all the other bikes. I'll see if I can show you there later. But um, here's one of the bikes I'm working on. A little Moto 2 weapon, which I'm building. It's pretty much finished. Just need to uh, tie off a few last little bits. But uh, yeah, that full exhaust. I'll build that myself, very happy with that. Stainless steel, didn't want to do a titanium one. Probably would have wrecked too much uh, material if I tried that. But yeah, not the uh, subframe, all custom spec for uh, for the Moto 2 seat unit and, and fairing as well. And what I'm doing today, I'm just uh, building up the, uh, just on the last few bits on the, the air, air intake. Obviously go straight to the air box, nice big throat to it there, so loads of air getting in there. So yeah, it's a good little, uh, good little project. And uh, my next one, that's it there, you can, uh, it's a custom uh, fairing. Uh, oh, so that's a tank and seat unit set up, made by Brian Rosser here in South Australia. I'm actually gonna put a two-stroke 800cc engine in there with a, uh, it's a unit gearbox, which is an external gearbox, which I'm making myself. I'm a CNC programmer by trade, so not many of you knew that, did you? So I, I, I can be smart when I want to be, but I just don't feel like it very much. But uh, this is one base I just finished, Honda 754. Very happy with that. I, uh, yeah, it was, my dad's a bit of a collector and his, he didn't like it, so I bought it off him and I uh, yeah turned it into a cafe racer base. But uh, yeah, a few bits going on, but I'll just show you up another shed, so I'll uh, talk to you in a sec. So it's up in the big shed now. This is, uh, we actually had our wedding uh, reception in here, so it's a pretty big space, 200 people were in here. So uh, yeah, here's the, uh, the caddy, which is an absolute weapon. That was, uh, we've, me and my missus took that out on the weekend, so that was good fun. And uh, here's my old man's collection of some of mine, but not very many, <laughs> but uh, awesome. Uh, Awesome collection of bikes, all sorts of stuff. Got uh, Indians, Harleys, Triumphs, Nortons, BSAs, Vincents. There's three Vincents in here. And uh, this is my, and my family is all, me and my dad's mainly, my mum loves it too, but it's, it's our happy space. So uh, yeah, we love coming in here and just shooting the breeze, having a few beers, which I do ride that thing fairly often. So I can't drink too many beers because I still remember I race motorbikes for a living, so I've got to be a bit fit. But I'll take you upstairs. This is uh, another cool bit, cool bit of the workshop. So here's the upstairs bit. It's uh, yeah, a bit of a man cave. Uh, with loads of all the heaps of old leathers. Mine and my dad's leathers and helmets and stuff. A few sets, more sets there. If you're really in trouble, there's a dog house. You can sleep here. <laughs> but uh, there's a few trophies over the back there as well. And uh, a couple of TZs. Muzzy's uh, TZ350s, my dad Muzzy's. And then this is uh, my little weapon, a little 125GP bike, just got finished. So yeah, pretty happy about that. It turned out really good. Paintwork's amazing, it just got done. There's a couple of BMX bikes, I love my BMXs. Still ride at the BMX track fairly often, so uh, more leathers through the years. My first ever set of leathers over here, which uh, I still fit in. And this is the... Uh, one of my trophies there, TT trophy from last year, Macau GP one. Yeah, first ever set of leathers here. 
Strangely enough, they still fit me. They're freaking tight, but they still fit. But uh, that's it, guys. I just thought I'd uh, yeah, show you what's been happening and my self-isolation process in the old shed. It uh, keeps my hands dirty and uh, keeps, uh, keeps me out of trouble. So, yeah, hopefully we get through all this soon and, and I'll be back over there, start testing with IMG Racing, which I'm very much looking forward to. And, um, yeah, get underway. But uh, we've just got to all get together, do what we can to get over this freaking crap situation which we're all in. So we're all in the same boat. Let's uh, work together, stay home, wash your hands. And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get on with it and we'll uh, be back out racing soon. So all the best, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll see you back over there. Looking forward to it. Cheers, guys. Bye.